Hey, I'm Randy, and this is my piece of crap boat. It's a 1989 Bay Liner 2455 that we're actually trying to make a decent boat out of again. A lot of work's gone into it, and if you look back at the past videos, you can see how far it's come. But today, I'm gonna get back to this interior and try to get it back together. So today, we're gonna put some stuff back together. I don't know, maybe this is what differs me from me and many people. When I get too much stuff torn apart and nothing starts going back together, I really start to freak out. I don't like that. I don't know if it's like a fear that it's never going to get put back together or something, but I think that's kind of what helped drives me doing the things that I do. But yeah, I can't stand it when uh, a bunch of stuff is torn apart and nothing's going back together. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. So we're going to start getting some stuff back together today. These tiny screws, I put these back in here because I was afraid I'd lose them. with the door shutting. That's crazy. Right here, see it moving like that. And I, I don't know what, they must have must have wallered out. Because I just put this screw up through here. And you can see how long it is. And if you measure it up to there, it definitely goes up in there. So, I'm not exactly sure. Ow. What is causing that to miss? Because it definitely is long enough. I said I'm trying to see what is up with Yeah. Holy crap. It's amazing how that wallered out. So I'm going to have to go down anyway because I forgot half the crap. I need a piece of carpet or something. So, what we're going to do is get a countersink, which is down there. And I'm going to countersink this in a different spot because that hole, I don't know why, is completely wallowed out. And if you can see, you can see along here, that's what causes this door not to shut. Especially once we put this wood piece on. You see, this piece goes on here.
when that's installed, see that hitch right there? This needs to be pushed over. Which this whole thing is loose. See, it's already better. So yeah, the problem is, with this piece is on here, it's tight. They put a screw through the top, which broke, and lash this around here. So basically, this screw was loose, causing this whole thing to move. And instead of fixing this, they just band-aided it and caused it to all wall around. But we're getting it. Oh, we're gonna start doing this. That is crazy. Trying to staple to that. This board is so hard to staple to go in. So I got the counter seat here. Just fine. I'm gonna make sure that's tight, it's not rattling. So that's something done today. So far this hasn't gone so well. I got so it's so hot <coughs> and humid. And I didn't really eat much yesterday because of the heat, but I was shaking so bad. So I went down to eight and ate about half a watermelon to get hydrated. I brought some more water up, but it's time to start getting something done. Hi, baby. Good news is, is I did mark that back side from the old carpet. So, that is one. here a little bit. Oh. See, my board go 
goes over here. The first thing I need to do is cut out these corners. Yeah. I left it on there just in case because I thought about folding that over. Well, let's look at this. I'm really not sure. Since I gotta cut it anyway. Also going to have that same problem you see I put this one here and they must have I don't know from the back they must have glued a piece or something it wasn't there when I got the boat so we're going to have to cut a triangle here because it just comes in at too many angles you can't do the fold thing talk about that triangle piece because it goes so many different directions oh. and it's basically what our carpet's going to look like. The cabinet comes across right there. Let's cover that soon. So yeah. 